Hello, my friends. Yes, it's time for Crash Bandicoot 4. Flashback tapes. We're going time to the 90s. Play the tapes. Yes. Here we have a tape. Subject 218. Okay, we're going to go and play the flashback tape. What kind of exciting adventure awaits us here? Subject 218. I guess that's Crash's number. Experiment log. Bandicoot subject trial number oh, one. Oh, yes. Yes, you gotta love the VHS aesthetic that they made, yeah. They give it like a nice little VHS green filter. No! Cool. Yes! The crates are meant to be broken. They were. Oh. Next okay, time, yes, perhaps. yeah. We are breaking crates. Moving through a level, kind of like a little obstacle course. I think, yes, all, all the levels are obstacle courses, basically. It's really good fun. Really very challenging, too. Okay, let's see here. Oh no, I did not want to smash it like that. This might not be possible. Oh wait, let's try this. Oh no, I missed two crates. That's not good. Okay, let's keep going. Um, yes, yes. Oh boy. So of course Crash died there. He got mopped up. Now he's back to life. Crash is a magical marsupial. Oh, next time, perhaps. Well, this is a very cool looking laboratory. Is it like a castle, maybe? Or like an underground ruin? It looks more like an underground ruin. It's been heavily neglected for many, many years until Dr. Neil Cortex took it. Okay, let's get this. Yeah, this is doable. I can. Yes. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, excellent. No! That was too high up. No, it did not work. That didn't work either. Next time, perhaps. Yes, Dr. Neo Cortex. Next time, perhaps. Emphasis on perhaps. Hey, you gotta love that giant pillar of TVs in the background monitors and TVs and all that stuff. I wonder what the purpose of that is. So you can watch 10 channels at once, maybe? I mean, who doesn't want to watch 10 channels at once? Oh no, I missed one. Well, yes. I did not like the idea of missing one. Okay, try it again. Oh look, <laughs> it even had a little timer that I didn't notice that before. It said 3 minutes and 10 seconds when it disappeared. Weird, I didn't see that one. Part of the whole VHS aesthetic. Fell for that trick already once. Yeah, 
using this with these flashback tapes, probably uh, a bunch of buffs breaking up the bosses. Now, it would be cool if they tried to recreate a level from like Crash Bandicoot 1 again, you know, in a, maybe from a different point of view. I know they already did that with the Insane Trilogy, but you know, flashback tapes are flashback. Or maybe try to do something with the same graphics. Yes, that would be cool. Yes, the flashback levels could have been like, you know, a brand new level oh, with PlayStation 1 graphics. Interesting. I honestly would have liked that better than this, uh, you know, the box breaking minigame. Not that this sucks. This doesn't suck. It's a cool obstacle course. But, you know, I think they could have done more with the flashback tapes. Okay, yes, almost there. Only 18 more boxes. Okay, this part might be tricky. Yes, excellent. Excellent! But they only missed two boxes. Well done, subject! Oh boy. Yes, that, that, that was fun. But you know, I would have liked it maybe if they did something different with the flashback tapes. Yes, I think the perfect idea would be to give us levels with the same graphics as PlayStation 1. Now we're going to hit the road. Because that's the name of the level. Hit the road. We're not actually going to go outside and pound on the cement with our fists. That would hurt. It would be pointless. We wouldn't even damage the road, even the mighty Lord Gamerson with all his mightiness. If I were to smash my fists on the cement road, the concrete road, then, you know, it'd probably hurt my fist. Yes, I suppose Lord Gamerson does not have infinite strength, like a superhero. But I am the mightiest of the mighty. Oh, yes. Just ask my enemies. Oh, we're Crash Bandicoot in a junkyard. Oh, I want to see the show. What show are we suing? What show are they playing tonight? The show of the century. It should be fun. I bet it's a show about Crash Bandicoot getting murdered. Yes. Yes, what fun. You know, that was kind of hidden a little bit, wasn't it? But it was an obvious hide. Very easy to find. I suppose they were just trying to show you that, um, you know, there's going to be a lot of hidden areas. So check everywhere. All the time. Go <laughs> kill. Oh, he's so funny. We know that Crash Bandicoot and Lord Gamerson have infinite lives. Yeah, he might die 50 times in a level. These levels are hard. Oh no, I touched the... I touched the chain. Yes, but the chain even has spikes. So you can't touch the chain. Oh, the fire box. I wonder if that cradle. Let's just see if the grate. Not the crate, the grate. No, it will not smash. Oh, that's a hot box. Crash is going to hot box this level. Hey, there's a tape. 
a flashback. I can't get it. Why can't I get the tape? Oh, there must be some requirement. I don't know what the requirement is. I thought you were just supposed to find them. Well. God damn it, open up your secrets to me, Mr. Invisible Tape, that I can only half see. Got some opacity on it. Transparency. God damn it. No, I want that tape. Hey, look at that. The inside of the box is a checkerboard design. Oh, that's a nice touch. Okay, in this bonus level there are 19 crates. The bonus levels have already proven themselves to be exceptionally difficult. Let's see if this one is any less. Oh my god, I can't touch those. How am I supposed to get what's underneath? Okay, yes. Right, okay, no, I... Oh god, I can't get up there. Okay, I know I can jump on that crate. It's got the explanation mark on it, although it's green. It tries to fool me. So I think what happened there is maybe, I don't know. Yes, yes, I think all the nitro boxes blew up. Yes. And I guess we're going to have to try that again. Oh, I love smashing the fruits. That one brings the nitro boxes into existence. And crash jumping on them, like so, causes crash to die. At least we don't lose any lives in these bonus levels. Now it just kicks us out to the beginning. Oh, there's a lot of junk in the background. But it's cool junk. We got like airplanes and mountains of tires. No bother. Okay, let's do it again. Alright, yes, this time for sure. Then we'll get on that airplane in the background that sits on top of the bar. he was. That was awesome. It was almost worth watching him kill me. Just to, just to watch him do this happy dance. I'm tempted to let him do it again. But no, I shall have to kill him instead. He only gets one kill. Oh, bother. At least that happened the second after I got my Aku mask. Oh god, that's how hard this game is. As soon as you get the little, the little power up to give you an extra hit, you lose it within the same second. Yes, you die. Bastard. Oh no! 
Yeah, it's going to beat the fire. Lord well, Gameson is always beating fire. And air and water. I am the master of the elements and it must bow to me. I control fire. Except in Crash Bandicoot. I do not control the fire in this game. Is the, the fire in this game was controlled by programmers. Programmers and effects artists. Yes. Oh, gotta get above. Yeah, be good. Here we go. Oh no! Oh, I was too slow on the triangle. Oh, yeah. I was about to miss that one. Okay, now. Okay, good, good. Okay, here we go. I get my power up. And now I just get to do this. This, this isn't hot. Yeah, it's very good. Oh no, I touched the green box. I don't like touching the green boxes. They hurt. They really hurt. Okay, good. Yes, let's do it again. This time for sure. Yeah, it wants me to get that green box. I don't want to get the green box. Oh no. Okay, if I were to get that, I wouldn't have. I already broke the box that would have brought me up there, so the time for that is over. I think you probably have to play each level many, many times through before you can actually collect all the boxes in any level, really. There's just so many and they're so tricky. Okay, yes. Let's do it again. What the? Oh, I know it happened. I got rematerialized, or actually, the little platform got rematerialized all around me. <laughs> so, yes, that's something you want to avoid. You don't want to be inside the platform when it materializes. Now yeah, I'm just gonna go up here. Oh, that's some crazy fire. that right through the flames it doesn't even burn the rope Okay, let's try it again. Oh, bother. Yeah, let's gotta go over those ones. Go over those ones, too. Don't want to hit those green ones. Okay. Get those ones. You gotta get those ones, but not these ones, but not the green ones, but you wanna hit the red ones. And you wanna get away from the red ones and avoid the green ones while hitting the brown ones and getting all the fruits. 
No! No, no. I do not want to grab the rope at the bottom of the rope. You don't want to do that. You don't have time to climb up the rope. You got to jump like this. Yes. Okay, yes. I've already done this section about five or six times. Let's just get on with the show. Good at checkpoints. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Checkpoint Giver. You have blessed me today with your mighty checkpoints. The best show you'll ever see. Oh, I think a belly flop will work. Come on, belly flop. Yes! That was excellent. What a cool junkyard. I wonder if the enemies also have to go through this navigational trap whenever they want to go somewhere. Imagine, you know, you lived here, and you had to go to the store. But to go to the store, because you wanted to get a loaf of bread, you have to go through all of this. You know, I'm going to the store. Hopefully I don't die today. Oh, cool. Oh, that's so badass. Yes. All right, I love this. I'm in like a little cage ball. And I'm running away from the mighty, mighty destructive truck. The mighty destructive truck of fiery destruction. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. Great guess. Oh, we don't want to the wires. The wires slow us down. Well, what's the worst thing that could happen? I lose? Oh no, then I have to play the destructive truck level again. Oh, the humanity. Oh, I love this level. Is that the end of the Stricto Truck? I don't think so. Oh, no, here comes more Destructo Truck. Oh, Destructo Truck. You are so cool. With your fiery mouth. And your giant fiery jets. Well, okay, I guess all the re major reasons that make it have to do with fire, but you know that's that's good enough. Fire is cool. You are cool, Mr. Destructo Truck, with your skull face and all your fiery flames. Very nice. Okay, and that's the end of Destructo Truck. And they got 151 boxes. Hmm. How do they expect me to go back? There's no way to go back. Oh, jeez. The level is complete! Lord Gamerson is victorious. Excellent! Excellent!
Yeah. 
Hey guys, it's me, the Sega Kid, and today I am going to be playing Space Harrier 2. Space Harrier is a super fun Sega game where you're running around in an environment, going back and forth, up and down. You can pretty much just stay on in the front part of the area, but everything's coming right at you. So you're, it's it's kind of like 3D. It's not real 3D, but it's still kind of like 3D, and it's so awesome and cool and fun. And I love this kind of stuff. I used to play this all the time when I was younger. Like, I would just shoot these things all day, every day, and I, I even beat Space Harrier one, and it was so much fun. It took me so long to do it, and oh yeah, it was great. I just love, I, I, I love the backgrounds, and, and the way they just kind of move very slowly, and the foreground elements, like the tiles and stuff, they just kind of rush right at you. That is just so awesome. So yeah, th these environments are pretty simple, and there's just like lots of obstacles to avoid. This is like the, um, the, the the blue checkerboard environment. In the blue checkerboard board environment, you fight against a green sky, and there's all these trees, and you gotta dodge the trees. If you get hit by the trees, you lose a life. It's a one-hit kill kind of thing. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really cool like that. And you got this happy little dragon, and he just kind of flies around, and he's like, Hey there, Bennett buddy, I missed you. Why don't you come over here and play with my rings? But you know what, it's a trick. It's a trick. If you touch that nasty dragon's rings, you are totally gonna get killed. Uh oh. Just like that, but you know, rewind feature. No problem. Now I gotta fight a giant turtle. Hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. I love that. Oh wait, just just a second. Uh, Lord Gamerson is giving me a a note. Um. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Um. It's, it, it seems that my. One of my enemies has kidnapped my parents. And I've gotta go save them. I've gotta go save my parents. They've been kidnapped by the evil Zarlons. The Zarlons have kidnapped my parents, and it's up to me, I gotta go, I gotta go res mount a rescue mission, I gotta go save them, and uh, oh jeez, I, 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 I really wanna be playing these games with you right now, but I, I, gotta, I gotta go do a, a, a very, very important mission. I gotta go do a very important mission to rescue my parents, because that's responsibility, and, and responsibility, I suppose, is more important than playing video games. But I, I just want to play video games. I don't want to go on any missions right now. I want so many missions, and I love the missions, but I just want to play video games. 
Okay, well, I will play video games, but it's gonna have to wait until I go rescue my parents. That's gotta take precedence, but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna beat this boss first. I'm gonna beat this boss first, and then I'm gonna go rescue my parents, because I'm, I'm already at this boss. take over for the rest of my videos. Uh, I, I had a few more videos in the pipeline and I guess I'm gonna have to... Hey, Silent Joe! Sil Silent Joe, he's, he's, he's over here. He's gonna... He's, he's gonna play the rest of the videos that I had in the pipeline. I was gonna play some more, but maybe I'll play more later after I rescue my parents. But I, I gotta go rescue my parents now. And I'm, I'm just gonna give... I'm, I'm just gonna give them control of over to Silent Joe. Silent Joe's gonna finish up my videos. And, um, yeah, well, just, uh, I don't have that many left. Um, I was gonna make more. I had, there's lots more Sega Genesis games to play, but the ones that I had left were, I was gonna, well, I was gonna be playing, of course, this game, you know, Space Harrier 2, and I, Streets of Rage 1, 2, and 3. And Silent Joe, he, he's a really good guy. He's just gonna finish those off for me. And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you when I get back. Uh, you know, my, my parents mean a lot to me, and I gotta go rescue them from the evil Zarkons. Zarlons. Yeah, they're, they're everywhere, you know. And they've, they've, they've stolen my parents, and that's not cool. Well, I guess I'm already at the Blue Dragon. I might, might as well finish up with the Blue Dragon. I'm um, gonna have to wait another minute or two. I don't like they're going anywhere. The dragon changes color, you know, it goes from blue, green, and probably red, red here pretty soon at the end, maybe we'll see. Yeah. Oh, these are just... Uh, stupid, stupid rings. Come on, come on, dragon. Come on, dragon. I'm sorry, guys, this information is really bummed me out. Okay, okay, I'm gonna give it to Silent Joe now, and I'm gonna go save my parents. See you guys later.
Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. 